Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here. And today I'm going to review Cold War, directed by Paolo Palikowski. Maybe that's how you say it. This movie was nominated for three Oscars. Uh, foreign film cinematography, which weren't surprising to me, but then it's the director nomination, that was really surprising to me because foreign film directors don't usually get nominated for best director. And he already had one this year with Alfonso Cuaron. And this movie was very, like, artsy, like, Cannes crowd. So it was surprising to see that end up at the Academy Awards in the director category. This movie was definitely on my radar because of Ida, which I saw and really liked back in, what was it, 2014? The cinematography in this movie, it's almost like you're watching one of those like really artsy European old 60s movies. I mean, I can see why, you know, maybe the director and cinematography branch are embracing this movie because they probably love those kind of movies and this reminded them of that. The cinematography is just fantastic. It's it, it does so much tonally for the movie. It just has such a unique look. The four to three aspect ratio, the black and white, it's absolutely justified. I mean, there are just some shots in this movie that are that are stunning. The movie is often very desolate and cold. The cinematography really helps bring that out. The movie is about a composer, conductor, music guy who uh, falls in love with a woman that he meets after letting her be part of an ensemble that he's putting together. In a time where the Cold War is going on, and for whatever reason, I couldn't quite follow all everything about the plot, but they basically just cannot be together. They can't be seen together. And they're in different countries most of the time. They are just so drawn to each other that they cannot separate. This movie only shows you the times in which they are together. And sometimes there's as much as like years between the times where they see each other and you just don't see that. And I thought that was a really interesting choice. I like that choice because it made it sad to just imagine the time rather than seeing it. And oftentimes the characters, they even have partners that they're with, but it's each other who they're really drawn to. Their true loves are each other. And in a lot of ways, this movie reminded me of If Beale Street Could Talk because that's also a movie about two people who are so in love, but society is, you know, putting walls between them. But one thing I thought this movie did, that Beale Street did not do, was this movie suggested that the love was so powerful, but it also wasn't afraid to show that these characters are flawed, and that they don't always, they're not always compatible together. They have jealousy, they have relationship issues. The movie still shows you that they are still very much in love, despite these flaws. But one thing that Beale Street did better than this movie, I thought, was that it just made you feel that love that the two characters had for each other. In this movie, I didn't really feel the energy between these two. Joanna Kulig is really good in the movie. We definitely are able to see the power that she has over Tomas, why he's so drawn to her. The movie almost makes her like this kind of dream girl, femme fatale, but Kulig's performance is always subverting it. Tomas coat in the movie is pretty good. I just wouldn't say that his character was very memorable to me. He didn't really express a lot of emotion. It was very internalized, which I understand, but at the same time, it, it almost felt, to a point, unrealistic how little of a character he seemed to be. I think overall the movie was a really interesting portrait of how these two people are bound to each other but not allowed to be together. And the dynamics of their relationship are pretty interesting too. And there's a lot of subtlety there. Emotionally, I would say that I felt a little distant from the movie a lot of the time. And maybe for the reason because I didn't really feel these characters' chemistry. I would say that I definitely kind of felt like the, the void and the emptiness. I definitely appreciated the movie. I wouldn't say I was enveloped by the movie. I can see how some people would be. But I wouldn't say that it was like an impactful experience to me. It's also worth noting that the music, the use of music in the movie is very interesting uh, as a motif for creating beauty in a, in a desolate world, I would say. And just like the love affair itself. So I would overall probably give this movie an 8 out of 10. It's probably not a movie that I'm going to be thinking about months down the road or years down the road. But I definitely appreciated the movie. And on a level of craftsmanship, it was pretty excellent. What did you think of the movie? Have you seen it? Do you want to see it? Were you surprised by the director nomination? Because I was, and I'll tell you, even if I saw this movie before the Oscars, I would have probably been more convinced that it's not getting nominated just because it's such an out there movie. Obviously that was just my opinion, so there's no point in you disliking the video. Feel welcome to leave in the comments what you thought about the movie, and uh, have, a, have a good day.